Hey guys, Tapdog here with a little Alchemist Helper, and today I'm going to be doing a top 10 countdown of the best counterattack cards in game. Now, I mentioned in my last video that I was going to do both Absorb and counterattack cards at the same time, but after seeing that the video was already at about 12 minutes by the time I was going to get to counterattacks, I decided to split this up into two videos. So, um, I apologize if, if you were looking for that in the other video, but you will find it here instead now. Um, so, counterattack cards are a little bit of an interesting. Um, how do you say the interesting strategy you can use in the game a lot of people who have a tiebreaker deck will sometimes use counter attack cards because what they do is any damage that's dealt to you you will reflect it back to your opponent if you use a counter attack card so the strategy there is when your opponent has a full health or not full health full um orbs uh they're probably going to use a counter a critical strike or maybe a crushing blow attack and so they're going to do a significant amount of damage to you so instead of just you having that damage done to you, you can reflect it back to them. Hopefully you both die, you get a tie, you use tiebreaker, and that makes you win. So that's kind of the idea with these counterattacks. They're really a good one-two punch when you use them with a, um, a tiebreaker deck. So these cards are a little bit different than, than your normal cards because what you're looking for to make a good counterattack card is a high attack and a low defense. So you're looking for those glass cannon cards. A lot of people have fun with these types of decks because you get to do a ton of damage and it doesn't matter if you lose as long as you tie because then you win. So that's kind of the idea with the counterattack cards. Um, one of the best examples from the free-to-play game with this is Baseball Bat because uh, that one you only get however much damage done to you, you do half back to your opponent because it's only a bronze card. But people like that because it only has like a five defense or, or something small like that. So typically if you use a critical strike on you and it does 60 damage, then um, you're doing 30 damage back to them and hopefully that means they're dead. So um, that is one of the good counter attack cards here, but I'm actually not looking at those. I'm just looking specifically at diamond cards because I wanna see that high attack and then hopefully a low defense with it. Um, with that being said though, there's only about 30, 35, 40 or so counterattacks in game. So it's kind of limited. And I'd say about half of those aren't even good at all to use. They either have a similar attack and defense or actually to have a high defense and a low attack, which would be horrible to use for a counterattack. It makes no sense to use that. So what I'm gonna be looking at instead are, again, the cards that have a high attack and low defense. And that's how I'm gonna rank them. So coming in, with that all being said, at number 10 is gonna be Barrel Gorilla Jr. Barrel Gorilla Jr. has 31 attack and 23 defense for a 53 total score. And um, he comes from the Wingman pack. I'm sorry, he has a 54 total score. I, I can't read, apparently. Um, so Barrel Gorilla Jr. is kind of not that great because he has a pretty high defense at 23. But um, he does have a 31 attack. So he's probably going to do a little bit of damage to the opponent when they attack. Maybe, let's just say, five, five or so points of damage. But then if your opponent were to use a 60 attack on him, he would still do about 37 attack back. So you're, you're looking at about a 40 damage total, somewhere in there, 40, 45 total damage to your opponent, which should hopefully kill them if you're on turn three and you've been doing um, tiebreaker and you've done a little bit of damage beforehand. But it's not necessarily guaranteed because your opponent could have up to 60 health plus if they're using HP plus, maybe a little bit more. So um, that's why it's kind of on the lower end of this, but it still makes the top 10 because that's, like I said, not there's not too many good counterattack cards. Coming in at number nine is gonna be the Sensei Rat. Sensei Rat has 32 attack, 23 defense. So very similar to Barrel Gorilla Jr., just one extra attack point, so that's why it ranks a little bit higher. Um, and this is from the Rat Pack. Uh, Rat Pack also has Ratatosker in it, so that's a good critical strike card. So that's kind of a good one-two punch if you're looking to get critical strikes and also some counterattack cards. You can get both of them from there. Coming in at number eight is going to be the Lizard Rider. Lizard Rider has 31 attack, 22 defense. Um, so it's at the end of the day should be about an equal amount of damage done as Sensei Rat because even though it has one less attack, it has one less defense as well. And so um, that kind of means that if it does get hit, it'll reflect back the same amount of damage as Sensei Rat would. So hope that makes sense. Um, but I'd still rank it higher because more often than not, 
having a lower defense is good or better when it comes to a um, counterattack card. So you get Lizard Rider from the Scaly Pack. That's also where you get the Reptile Gold Combo card. Coming in at number seven is going to be the Burglar, which is from my youth. I used to love watching the Hamburglar, so the Burglar is pretty fun. Um, he has 33 attack, 23 defense, and um, this is one of the um, event cards. It comes from the Copper Chef event, um, so you can get it from there. You can also get it from the Copper Chef pack, but typically where you're going to be able to find it now is from the Heroics, so that's the best place to look for it and best place to find it. Coming in at number six is going to be the Masked Killer. Masked Killer has 32 attack, 22 defense, so it's just one less attack, but also one less defense from Burglar. So that's why it ranks slightly higher, is because it has a lesser uh, defense, which is good in the case of a counterattack. Um, and you get the Masked Killer from the Undying pack. All right, number five is going to be Arachne. Arachne has 32 attack, 22 defense. And I just realized that that is also the same as Masked Killer. So... I apparently need to read better when I'm doing this. I apologize. So both Mass Killer and Arachne are, um, they'll be number six and five, even though they're identical, because I don't want to have to figure out some more information here. Uh, so I apologize for that. But Arachne you can get from the Mythos pack. Coming in at number four is going to be the Astro Gang. Astro Gang has 32 attack, 21 defense. So just one less defense, same amount of attack as Arachne and Mass Killer. And you get that from the Mon Pack, which was just in-game, so it'll be a little bit of time before you can get that again. Coming in at number three is going to be Raccoon Guardian, which I gotta say, I love Rocket. He's a great character. He's got a good story arc, too, in all the movies he's in. But uh, also in the comic books, but, but I'm talking about the movies because I just watched them all again recently. Uh, anywho, Raccoon Guardian has 33 attack and 21 defense. And um, so he has one extra attack as compared to the previous card. And he is available from the Evasion event and the Invasion pack, but also from Heroics. So um, that's where you'd probably find him now if you're looking for him is in the Heroics pack. Coming in at number two is going to be Cupid's Bow, which has 34 attack, 20 defense. So one extra attack and then just one less defense than um, Raccoon Guardian. So that's kind of a double win there because... You're attacking with one more point, but you're also going to reflect back one extra point. So kind of a nice one-two punch there. And um, he is from the Valentine's pack. So he comes out usually every February. And then finally, number one from this list of the top ten counterattacks, way in ahead of all the rest of these, is going to be Wolf Warrior. Wolf Warrior has an amazing 38 attack and only 16 defense. So he's got the highest attack in game, and then he has probably one of the lowest, if not the lowest, defense in game for a diamond card. So this is the best situation you could get for a counter attack. It's going to do a ton of damage to your opponent, and then also reflect a bunch more back with the counter attack. And where do you get Wolf Warrior? Well, he's in the Booming Spike pack, which uh, came out, I think, last summer. So it should be coming around probably in the next six months or so. Um, it takes a little over a year for a pack to rotate back into the game, so just, just keep that in mind. But uh, that's your top 10 list for counterattacks. It's kind of fun, uh, definitely a different way to play the game. A lot of people play the um, Master Healer, so they have the, the, you know, trying to stay alive as long as possible. But if you want to do as much damage as quickly as possible, a tiebreaker counterattack pack combo is, is the best way to do it. All right, I think that's all the time I have for today. That's um, the top 10 for counter attacks. I still have one more video to make, which is going to be the top 10 critical strikes, and that'll probably be coming out in another week or two. But I just wanted to um, record these now for you guys so you knew what was going on. All right, I think that's all the time I have for today. Take care, guys. Bye.